Hi guys, my name is Tamara and this is Lightning Bug Vintage. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be putting together this Adirondack chair and this ottoman. My husband and I already put together one of each already so I could see how difficult it would be. So join me on this process. I ordered these from Ace Hardware and they were super simple to put together and the instructions were really good. And after that I'm going to be finishing all of them by spray staining them and then putting a sealer on them. So join me and let's get started. So I've got it all opened up and then I've organized it into piles with like pieces and um, we're gonna get started and hopefully it won't take me too long to do this by myself, but we'll see. All the packages of screws are really nicely labeled A, B, and C, and then the directions are really user-friendly. Okay, you guys, so it's the next morning. And to be honest, it took me a little longer to put that chair together than I thought. By myself, it took about an hour and a half, which actually was the same time that it took my husband and me, but I thought it would be faster just because we'd already done it. But I'm getting all set up and you can see behind me, I've got everything laid out on some plastic. It's a little humid today, so hopefully they'll dry, but I'm gonna spray them with stain never done this before so we're gonna see how it goes um got my stain all stirred up really really well and i'm going to just pour it into my cup i'm using an hvlp sprayer which i'll link in the description box i'm gonna have my air compressor set to 50 to start off with um and see how it goes i have some shop towels that i'll wipe it down with as i'm going so that it doesn't drip or get too concentrated in one area um, and I've got gloves, I've got a dust mask. I couldn't find my regular mask since we just moved. So <laughs> I'm just gonna make do with what I have. But um, yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes and hopefully it doesn't take too long. I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but like I said, it's really humid, so I'm already starting to sweat. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's get started.
right, so we're looking at several days after I applied the stain to the chairs. The chairs and the ottomans took overnight. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> took overnight to dry and I thought the stain applied beautifully. It took me one hour to apply the stain, which I thought was really good. I wanted to show you real quick what I used. I used this Minwax Dark Walnut and I have about a third of the can left. I think if I would have laid down something more absorbent as opposed to the plastic, I would have had less of a mess at the end. It kind of just started pooling underneath the pieces and got pretty sticky. Um, but today I'm gonna do a top coat. I've never used this before, but I'm gonna do this. I've heard it's really good for outdoor applications. So we're gonna give it a try. Probably one coat on the underside, two coats on the top. I might up it a little bit, I'm not sure. It says that it takes four hours to dry in between coats, but I think that I'll just, if they touch, if I touch them and they feel dry, then I'll probably just go ahead and do a second coat. These are both oil-based products, so I'm gonna be using mineral spirits to clean them up with. I'm not super, I don't use oil-based products a ton, so this is a little different for me, but the cleanup hasn't really been that bad. So like with the stain, I just poured it into the cup without straining it. I'm going to do the same for the top coat. They're both thin enough that you don't need to strain them before you pour them in here. And I'm going to finish them up today, and then hopefully we'll get to use them really soon. So thank you for following along with me. Alright, so here are the pieces right after the stain before the top coat. I didn't do any prep work. No wood conditioner, no sanding. These are going outside, all of them, so I didn't feel the need to waste extra time prepping. I've already got four hours in with putting them together and staining them. Total price for this project so far is about 230 bucks. The only thing I had to buy was the top coat and, of course, the pieces. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to spray the top coat today, and then I really can't wait to be able to enjoy these on our deck. This is the underside that I'm going to do first, and this is why I'm doing it first, because I've got some dripping that I didn't see last time, but I want to be able to see the top of it so that I know if I have drips or not on the side that everybody's going to see. I'm also going to use this foam brush. This is the only one I could find, a little big for this project, but I'm going to use it to spread out any drips that I see. Okay, well, I'm at the point where I'm in between my first and second coat. The first coat just dried. It recommends to sand in between top coats. So I did a really quick sand with 400 grit, and that seemed to take care of it just fine. Didn't take me more than five minutes. I'm going to just do, I think, two coats on the top, and then I did two coats or one coat on the underside. And I think I'm going to stop there and see how how well that does just because um, I want to get this done today. And oil-based, you know, it takes so long to dry in between coats that I just want it to be dry. 